Welcome to the Home Inspector Podcast, where we talk about home inspection business, marketing, and making money. I'm Ben Gramico from Internachi. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. And this show is both for, is for both the veteran experienced inspector and for the new person, the new home inspector, um, who wants to learn about business and marketing and boosting their business in order to make stacks of money. Remember, the purpose of being in business, any business, is to make money. And if you want to make a good living, don't go into business. Instead, get a good job. The only reason to be in business and take on all that it entails is to make a really, really great living and to pile up stacks of money for yourself and your family. So in this broadcast of the Home Inspector Podcast, in this episode, we're going to talk about getting certified. So at no additional cost... A member of InterNACHI can become an InterNACHI Certified Home Inspector and be awarded the Certified Professional Inspector CPI designation. Now, what's that? Well, the CPI designation is a federally registered certification mark, um, and InterNACHI attained that um, from the feds in the U.S. uh, for our members. So anyone who says that they are a certified professional inspector um, is actually an internationally certified home inspector. No one else on the planet can say I'm a certified professional inspector CPI except for internationally certified inspectors, right? So that's one of the great reasons of uh, joining internationally. You join internationally and you become a certified home inspector and you be, you'll be awarded the certified professional inspector CPI designation. Another certification uh, benefit to being a member is um, another benefit to being a member of InterNACHI is the over 30 additional inspector certifications that are available at no additional cost. So you join InterNACHI, you become a certified home inspector, but remember, this is all about business. And in this business, in this industry, home inspection industry, you have to diversify yourself. So Typically, our clients are looking for more than just a home inspector. They want a home inspector who does several different services. I would say the most popular ones are certified home inspector, certified radon inspector or tester, certified wood destroying organism or um, insect inspector, WDO inspector, termite inspector, and water quality inspector. So if you wanted to package that up, together for your inspection business. You wanted to offer those certifications to your clients. InterNACHI provides it. And those additional inspector certifications are online and free to members at no additional cost. Let me tell you how to get there. It's a URL. We do a lot of these URLs. It's at nachi.org, N-A-C-H-I dot O-R-G forward slash. And that's a line, a tilted line by the shift button uh, at the question mark button on the keyboard. So it's natchi.org forward slash certification. So let's go there. I'm there right now on my computer, natchi.org forward slash certification. And you can see that there are more than 30 inspector certifications that are free and online to members. And you can choose from those inspector certifications. Uh, First step is to join InterNACHI. And again, if you listen to the previous podcast, um, you join at a monthly fee or a yearly fee. And then step two, you can choose from those certifications. Now I'm looking at certified home inspector and certified professional inspector CPI designation. That's the one I would do, right? Join your and become a certified home inspector. And if you get to that page about becoming a certified home inspector, there's a few things you've got to do. Well, you've got to join your You've got to take an examination. Fortunately, that online inspector examination is online, free, and open to everyone. So you take the online inspector exam. This is a fantastic tool if you're new because it will tell you where you're strong and where you're weak as an inspector. So you take the online inspector exam. You finish it, uh, 120 questions, 60 minutes, and at the end of the um, examination, it tells you where you're weak. Why is that important? Well, let's say you're a roofer, right? You're uh, very experienced in installing roofs. 
you've been doing it for 20 years. You're probably not very good at the other things that are involved in a building. Maybe the electrical or the plumbing is your weakness. Well, you're not sure until you take an exam, till you're examined. Your knowledge and skills and abilities are examined by this online inspector examination. So go there. Take the online inspector examination provided by InterNACHI. It's online, free, and open to everyone. See where your strengths are. See where your weaknesses are. And where you're weak, you take InterNACHI's online training courses to strengthen those areas. And then take the exam again and see if it helped. Uh, We also have a code of ethics course. Um, And that helps you um, get your ethics in line with um, your your, uh, we have a standard of professionalism, business ethics, and inspection procedures that you need to know about. And it's essentially uh, provided with that course, the Code of Ethics course. We also have a standards of practice course, a residential standards of practice course. Um, and it's online and free to members. So to t- uh, take that, you go to our uh, certification page and you click the link to that standards of practice course. And that course takes you through what is required and not required in performing a home inspection. So well, let me go through. How about um, finding um, asbestos material, hazardous asbestos material? Is that required by the standards of practice or not required by the standards of practice? Well, it's not. And uh, there are many things that are not required, actually. And the standards of practice course will tell you what you're required to do. For example, on the roof, The inspector must inspect from ground level or the eaves, the roof covering materials, the gutters, downspouts, vents, flashing, skylights. How about chimneys? Are you required to inspect the chimney? Yeah. According to the standards of practice, you're required to inspect chimneys and actually any other roof penetration, anything that goes through the roof covering materials, you have to inspect it. You also are required to inspect the general roof structure. Um, so that's an interesting thing. We're not structural engineers. We're not code inspectors, but there are several things that you have to know that are, um, many things that you have to know, um, what to inspect and what not to inspect. And that course is the standards of practice course, and that's free and online to members. And that's what you've got to take to become a certified home inspector. Um, there, there is also a requirement to become a certified home inspector and attain your CPI designation. Uh, you have to ad- submit four written inspection reports, mock reports, pretend reports, if you haven't performed any fee paid inspections. So if you have performed home inspections before and you've been paid as a home inspector before, you don't have to submit any inspection reports. This requirement is for new inspectors or new members uh, working to become a certified home inspector. And if you've never performed any fee paid inspections, you have to submit four mock inspection reports to our report review committee. Fortunately, this is a free service. Uh, And then you uh, sign an affidavit and um, we give you an entire year to complete the um, training courses um, that are required for our certified professional inspectors. And um, they're all online and free to members. And I'll go over them very fast. There's 12 of them. There's a dozen um, home inspector courses. In addition to the code of ethics course and the standards of practice course, you have to take an additional 12 courses. That's the safe practices for the home inspector course, 25 standards every inspector should know, residential plumbing overview for inspectors, how to perform residential electrical inspections, how to perform roof inspections course, how to inspect the HVAC systems course, structural issues for home inspectors, how to perform exterior inspections, how to inspect the attic, insulation, ventilation, and interior course, how to perform deck inspections, how to inspect for moisture intrusion, and how to inspect fireplaces, stoves, and chimneys. All of those are required to become a certified home inspector and attain your CPI designation from InterNACHI. It's a lot. It's a high bar. It is a high, high standard. Uh, We train and certify only the best inspectors in the world. So to attain your CPI designation um, takes a lot of effort, but you are rewarded in the end. And um, the training and certification 
uh, certifications that I mentioned are all online and free to members. Um, but in addition, again, to the certified home inspector designation, we have over 30 additional inspector certifications, and those are online and free to members at no additional cost. And um, they include 11 month warranty inspector certification, um, home energy inspector certification, pool and spa inspector certification, plumbing inspector certification, uh, radon tester, um, roof data technician, indoor air quality inspector, um, infrared certified inspector, electrical inspector, um, garage inspector. We have a ton of um, free online certificate programs. And that URL, again, is natchi.org forward slash certification. And if you need information uh, additional to the podcast, um, you can contact us. And we're all on the contact page. And that's at natchi.org forward slash contact. You could also contact me anytime you want. In the next episode of the Home Inspector Podcast, we're going to talk about branding and marketing. It's going to be a, a bigger episode because branding and marketing, you think they're the same, but they're not. And uh, we're going to take uh, some time and distinguishing between the two and working through them. And um, that's what you got to do after you become certified. You got to work on your branding and marketing of your business so that uh, the good folks out there are, that are looking for the best inspector can find you. And that's all about branding and marketing. All right. So I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for tuning in to the Home Inspector Podcast. I'm Ben Gramico from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspector. I'll see you next time. <laughs>